Right, today I have two Razer 24 volt go cut and they all have dead batteries and uh, they originally have the uh, lead acid batteries as you can see here. So they come with two 12 volt lead acid battery and the batteries weighs a ton and um, they are, the battery is now dead for both go cuts. So today I want to replace the batteries and also, also fix one of my go cut too. The go cut on the left is working fine, doesn't have any problem. The, con uh, the throttle is fine. The controller on the back is fine. This controller. But this go cut on the right got a broken throttle as you can see here. Now this one still has a throttle, the thumb throttle. This one is missing, the thumb throttle. And uh, I have already removed the throttle, so now I cannot use the throttle anymore. And uh, because of that, the way I approach the problem is quite different. Um, for this one here, because everything is still intact, the go-kart used 24 volt uh, controller, so I have to use a 24 volt battery. On, on the other hand, this one here, I'm going to use a switch just to uh, uh, a temporary switch, so when you press on the switch, it will go. When you release the switch, it will stop and because of that I can use any battery it doesn't have to be 24 volt because it, because it doesn't have to go through the controller anymore so I don't use the controller anymore so I can use any of my cordless tool battery as you can see here uh, these are the 18 and 24 I mean 18 and 20 volt I call this two battery from left to right Milwaukee 18 volt lithium ion the volt 20 volt Makita 20, 18 volts and that one is the cobalt uh, 20 volts and they are all lithium ion battery and uh, I use my cordless tools a lot and uh, I just um, you know, might as well use the battery for my go kart it weighs a lot less and it has the same amount of power and one more convenient thing is that when the battery pack run out I can just pull it out and put in another battery pack and it doesn't have to be the same brand and it doesn't have to be the same size either as you can see this one is in the extended capacity this one is the regular compact battery and they both work fine and I will show you that in a little bit and I'm gonna make it into two parts uh, part one is to repair the 24 volt uh, go kart here which I don't have to do any modification except the battery pack part two is uh, I have to fix the switch I have to install a switch and then uh, uh, install the, the battery pack right first let's go with the, uh, the go kart that still got everything intact uh, so I'm still gonna use the throttle and the uh, controller on the back here so it has to be 24 volt because the controller is 24 volt and let me show you what happens if I don't use a 24 volt battery okay so here I have a Milwaukee 18 volt battery it says 18 volt but uh, it's usually around 20 volts and in here there are five cells in series this battery here is the newest uh, 24 volt lithium ion battery uh, from a cobalt and it is six cells so it's, it's different so let me show you first what happens when I put in a five cell lithium ion battery 
Right, so I've got it installed. All I have to do is I got the positive and the negative wire that usually go to the lead acid battery pack. Now the positive go to the positive of this uh, tool, cordless tool battery, and the negative go to the negative of the uh, cordless tool. And I just use a metal clip and insert it in here. Just like the way you insert it in uh, insert a tool uh, in this battery. But anyway, got it in and my battery pack is full as you can see it's fully charged and let me turn on okay and it doesn't really go you can see uh, doesn't really give any power it spin a little bit and, uh, and then it stop even though my battery is full right so now I have a 24 volt lithium ion battery installed and let's turn it on to see what's the difference all right and here you can see the green light is on green, it's not on low. When I put in the 20 volt battery, this light is yellow and it shows low. Now the 24 volt it shows full. So that is the difference. And let's start to run it and see what happens. As you can see, it runs real good. I put it against the wall so not going anywhere but as you can see that's a really big difference see even though the capacity of this battery is less as you can see this is just the compact uh, 24 volt battery 2 amp hour that one is 3 amp hour and I even tried 4 amp hour still doesn't go so that one got twice the battery sales as this I mean not really twice but it's got uh, 10 sales in it 5 in series and then 5 2 fives in series and then they are in parallel so 10 sales this one only has 6 sales and it's a compact and it runs just fine whereas that one or any of those does not run on a 24 volt go kart I also have a battery pack that is a little bit bigger than what I have here uh, this pack here is also 24 volt and it came from another cordless tube battery but it is significantly bigger than that um, this battery use 18650 cell like this one this one here let me see is called 26700 lithium ion cells and as you can see it's about twice the size at least uh, the the ammeter is about twice of the small one but the volume thing is about three times bigger but anyway so this one can give me more range so all I have to do now is to make a box for this and I'll secure it in here and connect the wire to that battery pack and I'm good to go I think I'm done here. Got my battery pack soldered into a number 10 wire with the XT60 RC connector. And then I got the, the same connector connected to the wires uh, that used to be lead acid battery wires. These two wires. And then it's going to be connected to the, to the, the new battery, like so. Now I got a battery box here 
to keep the battery in one place uh, so that it don't move around uh, when I use the go-kart because it tend to move a lot and uh, get the wire loose so anyway so I'm gonna push it in and then uh, that should be it ready to go all right time to test it out shall we ready yes. go battery powered 24 volt go kart my next project for this go kart is I'm gonna install a couple of solar panel on the back here to charge the battery while we are on the go so we don't have to depend on another battery pack or uh, even an outlet to charge the battery when we need it Hey folks, and uh, that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching.